just were able to win off style alone, right? Or were able to win while playing their most stylish game. I'd be surprised if they can continue to do that here against each other. Yeah, I mean, Two Frames definitely has a lot of cute uh, movement stuff here. He knows, like, quick attack cancel setups on the platforms. We saw right. him spamming a lot of them. And really, kind of an interesting choice to jump there. Maybe he's uh, thinking really hard about trying to get it down here and, and finish it, but ends up bailing, going high, and letting Two Frames back for free. Ooh, Ooh. speaking of Pikachu dying early, there you go. Speaking of platform cancels, uh -huh. he's, he's being silly. Um, uh, short hop up airs for Pikachu, drifting away. If you actually catch him with the front of that, you tail spike him right back towards yourself. Oh, interesting. And so it's just like a little maelstrom of Pikachu tail. Yeah. Plus, Pikachu up air three frames. Right. Three frame jump squat. It is fast. Making and it has a very powerful lead in. Making us wonder why two frames name is what it is. It is an excellent question. Excellent tail spike from two frames. Mm -hmm. Snaps to edge. Really no chance to make it back end. Interesting down smash. He did that in our past match too, I think. People that we commentated have, yeah, with people him. have that tendency to like just spam dash dances, wave dashes, and try and run through you and cross you up repeatedly. Mm -hmm. But uh, two frames actually just taken to the platforms. Ultimately, we really got it. He's, he is stuck in the corner, and Pikachu hurts when you're in the corner, potentially. Yeah, see, he he hurts in terms of the mix-up, but in terms of damage, that's oh, one yeah. of the things where Pikachu does suffer, right? He got right. A, a pretty good punish by most standards, but it, it's not that much damage because Pikachu just does not hurt that much. Yeah, his Nair does oh, good damage, like okay damage. Yeah. Up air does basically nothing. It's like three. Yeah, it, it, I think it literally is three. So you have to find a way to work in a bunch of other stuff in order Ugh. for that to hurt. And a really, man, he's controlling this stock. Oh my god. Yep. Forward B. Forward B. I like it. Oh, yeah, not quite the grab that I think he wanted. Um, two frames. Moving a bit, but we're seeing him. He's a little. He's having a little less fun right now. Yeah, and that's showing off in his gameplay, right? Gone are the up B cancels. Doesn't have room to do them. And a really use double jump right there. Thunder Jolt keeping Pikachu safe as he comes back onto stage. He can be able to make something out of this. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Actually able to connect with that up smash and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Get out of here, you rat. It's a question of whether or not he could weather the invincibility and then uh, find two very fast kills or really drag the game out. But didn't happen. He got caught with. That was the third, like, wild knee that he just yep. got caught with and DI'd down. It was a nice way to bookend the, set, the game because it's how he started it, too. He yeah. just got that knee at 100, and Pikachu was out of there. We see him highlighting Founded Dreams. Yeah, we're going to assume that, that FD is banned since Pikachu just gets to kill Falcon when he gets a grab on FD in most situations. Also, well, really, he just seems to really enjoy his platforms. So I can see him being the kind of person True. who wouldn't want to go FD in most matchups just because he likes playing on platforms so much. You know, interestingly enough, oh. Oh, that one's got to be an F tilt. Yeah. Got to be that lingering F tilt. Yeah, shove him off the stage, go for down air or something. Good SDI up there on the up air from uh, from two frames. He could have potentially gotten up aired again there if he didn't do that. Okay, there we go. There's there's some solid survival DI. And that was actually uh, kind of dangerous for O'Reilly. He got hit with that tail spike. If he hadn't recognized that he hadn't been able to land, he might have plummeted too far and died. Right. He did not. He's uh, chilling on 64. Oh, oh, he is using those side platforms. King Danners through him. Mm -hmm. Don't know if he wanted the forward throw there, but it's going to pay off maybe. Oh, there's that down air that he loves so much. A really tournament winner saving two frames of life right there. <gasps> yeah, I think he's toast. I think he's toast. He's toast. You know what's fun about this one is we called these guys our two style monsters, and you can almost tell how the match is going off of who's styling more. It means they're winning. When O'Reilly <laughs> was winning, it's it, he's just doing all this crazy stuff because he feels so comfortable. We don't see any style from two frames right now, but we're also not seeing much from O'Reilly because it's close. Yeah, it uh, 
you need to have like a lot of comfort in your approach and the belief that your move is going to hit so that you could set something set up something that's really wacky like right there two frames dashes towards him then he dashes back and shields even though it's his combo right right because he's not 100 percent sure he's going to get the hit that he wants Oh, the, <laughs> speaking of hits he doesn't want, that was definitely not the up air sweet spot, or up smash sweet spot. Oh, uh, he's been going for those down airs, like just kind of hoping. Oh, the platform though, giving him that free up smash, really tries to get up attack through it, doesn't work. It's a, this is a very even game. I'd like to see now, you know, one way O really could get a really quick stock is, or sorry, a two frames could get a really quick stock, is O'Reilly's solution to those down airs is always to just jump over them. If you read that and go for, oh my god, what a conversion. If you read that and go for a tail spike, though, from two frames, that's a way that he could try and make this even. This game was close. I it was. It also wasn't close before that, so. That's true. We could get back to those days. A crouch cancel gentleman, that's kind of, that's something else. That oh, light two frames was really hoping for, uh, <gasps> A reset, and he, ne oh, he nearly died. A whiff on the fastball L cancel. Yeah, but really, we're getting we're getting some drops. Oh my God! Thought Speaking of drops, drift. he's it's not a uh, not reacting properly. He's not comfy in the punish game right now, and it's gonna make it pay. Really, just gotta keep spamming knees and hope for a shield stab. Oh, playing really well oh. around the back air though. Oh, and he's bringing up the shield, expecting a get-up attack, and there's that final knee of really taking it in a two stock. I think two frames had a really strong shot, just was not accounting for escape options. Yeah, exactly, right? When when he had a really off stage, it was just the speeding Pikachu bullet in one direction, right? There was no accounting for different trajectories of a jumping over yeah. and up B and everything. Yeah, once you've got the person respecting your punish, your kill, that's when you just go, whoop, fall back. Mm -hmm. Let him let him fall into you. Because then you can set up something potentially even juicier, and you make them start to question their own recovery options. You dull their reflexes. You make them feel dumb. That's a really useful psychological warfare.